What happens when you put four sailing YouTube channels and a podcaster on one sailboat in the Greek Isles for one week? The boat and Ocean Star 56. The channels, bums on a boat who just crossed the entire Caribbean from the Virgin Islands to Granada, hand steering the entire way. See the little things who are currently in the Canary Islands preparing to cross the Atlantic with a newborn baby. Josh Post, who has tons of sailing experience and has just started to restore a Choi Lee classic sailboat. Ocean Sailors Podcast. Andy has an incredible charm and vigor and makes for a wonderful podcast host. And he's the one who brought all of us together for this incredible adventure that you're about to see. And us, Rigging Doctor. We've been cruising for five years, including two ocean crossings. And now we're cruising up the intercoastal waterway of the United States. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing. Wisdom. Up, up. We need to catch a plane to Greece. Wakey, wakey. It's two in the morning. Caught behind the Venetian blinds I had to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Here at the docks, we've just met George of Sailing with George. He is the owner of the uh, charter company that we are about to take advantage of. I cannot believe how beautiful it is here. I can't even tell you how cool it is to be here with all of these awesome YouTuber friends. And uh, we're all just kind of meeting up and getting ready to board the boat. It's surreal, totally surreal. All right, we are here with George of yeah. Sailing with George. Hello, we guys. finally made it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm George. George exists. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your company. Well, uh, we started in 2010. Yeah. You know, I started as a skipper, uh, skipping around the, the Greek islands. We are really, really lucky as Greeks to have a beautiful sailing venue here. Oh, yeah. Start buying boats and stuff. Now we've got four boats in total, three sailing boats and one motor boat to offer uh, emergency service and sea transfers. And we are doing cabin charter trips uh, around the Greek islands. Oh, so man. for people, for solo travelers, for uh, couples and small group of friends that uh, they would like to, to come and share with like-minded people mm. that experience uh, uh, in that beautiful That's part of nice the That's a nice philosophy. Yeah. 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 There is, there, there is a, a, a magic uh, which is created in the, uh, on, once on the sailing boat and the boat is out of the port. Yeah. Uh, and that helps a lot uh, the people to open up, to become, to, to, to go closer to what they really are. 
and that creates a really nice human uh, relations and uh, really nice uh, you know discussions dreams new ideas inspiration so totally that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, i love that nice. that's great Super. so we're about to embark on this one week sail on one of george's sailboats yeah we're gonna go through all these greek islands it's gonna be absolutely amazing yeah yeah we're we're so excited and thankful yeah for this experience You're yeah welcome guys really welcome all right thank you so we were doing a general check on the boat uh, to get ready to take her out tomorrow morning and as we were unfurling the main we noticed that the stitching had chafed a little bit and there was a hole in the main so herbie is now up the mast sewing the main back together <laughs> One big thank you we have to make is to Henry Lloyd, who was one of our sponsors for this trip, and he provided us, he, the man himself, <laughs> Henry, Henry himself. <laughs> thank you, Henry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Henry. So the company provided us all with amazing amounts of gear and clothing that we are going to unwrap and try on. Right oh, Very strapping. Oh, hey, you're going to look yachty. Yes, I am. Very yachty. Oh. There you go. Good attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yes, we are matching. We are. Oh, did you have a hood? No, because I'm a girl, and apparently girls don't, in there. don't, oh, don't have a hood, yeah. use hoods. Everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Not everyone sleep? No, I love. Fantastic. Pretty good, I'd like say. Yeah, Once we finally got to bed, how did you sleep? <laughs> Rested now. The only acceptable answer is amazing. Oh, how are you? Good. good. You had a good sleep? Yes, did actually, yes. yeah. No, no, no. Six hours sleep. It was amazing. Six hours mm. sleep. That's really good. Good for you. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. So we're on an Ocean Star 56. Five cabins, five heads. And our first stop, Mykonos. Well, all these losers on here had instant coffee. Michael and I went to shore and got cappuccinos. Can't pass it up. So that we can uh, make our way over to Mykonos today. Good job. Yeah, making that happen. That was you. That was all me. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Thanks for you. 
Ooh, I gotta say, we've been in the ICW for a few months now, and I missed this. This is the amazing feeling you get when you're pulling out of a port and you're about to experience new places, gorgeous settings. This is the Mediterranean, guys, and this is not only the Mediterranean, it's the most beautiful part of it, according to a lot of people. And so I am so excited to experience sailing the Greek Isles for the next week. So this is a unique charter experience because usually one of the captains from the company is on board, but we have an entire crew of sailors. So the captain's not on board, which means we're captainless, but no. Herbie actually received the honor of being elected captain of the vessel. Okay. Josh is down there. Visual on Josh? Okay. Visual on Josh. Right. Visual on all the crew all right. members. Okay. Let's roll. Yeah. Do you want to hop in? Woo! This is what it looks like to have a vessel full of YouTubers. <laughs> Walk it? Awesome. Careful, careful up there. <laughs> There's so much wind. <laughs> Life jackets, everyone. <laughs> Driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time, ain't doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time, ain't doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. It is! Are you sponsored? We're doing this for him. Yes. We're not selfish. <laughs> his first sale! Youngest crew member of... What is this boat even called? Uh, Ithaca. 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 Ithaca's youngest crewmate. <laughs> he looks very skeptical, doesn't he? He does. He's like, I'm He waiting. looks a little nervous about the weather. I don't know. Yeah. Nice. Alright, bring it back in. I hold it. You can kill it. This is more like what we're used to. It feels really, really Sales good to out. have this. 
And uh, the wind picked Great, up so we're again. Go literally right by Delos. We're going right by Delos, and uh, we might visit Delos tomorrow. Uh, but right now we're headed towards Mykonos, and it's just a beautiful sail, really. It turned out to be a perfect day. Got to turn off that diesel so it's nice and quiet. It's what we're used to, and uh, it's just chill up here in the cockpit, even though I feel really sick, uh, which is pretty normal for me, so it, it feels like sailing. It's pretty good. So our speed with just the sails is pretty much our speed for us all the time. We're doing 1.5 knots. <laughs> But we really want to get to Mykonos, and we got this giant diesel. So, uh, yeah, just gonna get going. Wee! <laughs> when in Rome, right? Isn't that what they yeah, when in Rome, when in Greece. So we're going right there. We can see a little boat in there, and that is Fair Isle. So about two years ago, I think, I wanted to meet up with Fair Isle because we were kind of near each other. They were like one city ahead of us on the southern border of Spain, and well, it didn't work out. We didn't get to meet up, so I was a little bummed about that. But now we're meeting up in Greece. So it's like, it's super cool because they have this gorgeous boat. So it's so cool to finally get to meet up with them all the way over in Greece. All right, it's starting to go down. I would drop it. Punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we made it to Mykonos. We're here, it's really beautiful. We had a glorious sail here, and we've made it to the main town before sunset. It was not easy. <laughs> Josh, which way do you think uh, Michael went? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a complete maze back here. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh, okay. Michael here led the way. We found it back to the bus just in time because it's leaving in 
Eight minutes now. Eight minutes. Technically, Google Maps led the way. I can't fully take credit for the right. successful navigation. You're the one that thought of using Google Maps. <laughs> Today was a super successful and fun day. We sailed from Syros to Mykonos and we actually got to put the sails up, which was something we weren't counting on. We thought that we would be motoring all day because the forecast called for no wind, but there was wind and we utilized it, which was so much fun. It was just a really cool experience sailing a huge boat like this with a bunch of other people who know what they're doing and do it for a living pretty much. So it was a super unique experience and I can't wait to do this more for a whole week. It's just gonna be so much fun. And we're getting to know these guys really well already when you all live in a relatively small space together and you all have something so big in common it makes it super easy to get along really fast and get really close really fast so we're just having a blast and so thankful for this opportunity tomorrow we're going to be going to delos which we're really excited for night night bye bye <laughs> it's been a really long day and we are exhausted time to sleep yeah, sleep time yes mm. It's been an amazing sail and we're about to come up on this extremely historic and beautiful island. Well, we don't know the name of the island we're headed to. Yeah, me neither. I was hoping someone did. It, it, yeah, it's it around the corner. <laughs> The interesting thing about this specific one is that it has an anchor and it's a fisherman anchor. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.